Howdy, it's your host, Reese here, and here to probably present you our last and final installment. Our installment seven. Here is part two. Here we get our last set of eight, bringing us to a full total of 15 tricks. Without any further ado, let's get to it right now. So get those likes up for me, and let's hop right into them. First, before we before we carry on, I just wanted to let you know that in this in this one you're gonna be seeing very epic tricks and magic involving bunny cages. But in this one, as it is, I'm about to read off our first one on part two, which is eight. It goes to the magic holy egg Bible trick. This is what this holy egg Bible trick will look like. So here I got is my egg on the Bible there. You'll see what it will do. Check out the candle. The flames are flickering. I wonder what that will do to the egg right here. Did you just see that move? The egg on the Bible. Right here. Look closely at the egg. Very, very, very carefully. Just right here. Holy egg! Wow! From the Bible to the egg to the candle flame. So, how did I do this trick? As is about to reveal the secrets, is what you'll need to pull this holy egg magic trick off. Here is what you will be needing. You'll be needing is a candle with a flame on it into a holder that looks just like this or something similar. Then you will be needing is an Easter cover egg. You see just right here. And of course, to make it a holy egg, you'll need is the Bible to go with it. Here, I got this nice white and gold-like Bible, you see, just right here. So that's what you will need for this trick. You're going to have the Bible closest to the candle and have the egg on top of the Bible, just like this. Make sure it stays in one place, just like this, and you are good to go. First up, you'll want to get the candle flame to flicker by blowing on it like this. Very, very slightly, so they can see the flickering of the flame, and then they fall through by doing that to the egg, like this. Because they're going to blow on the egg, like this. Very gently, and it will start to move on the Bible. So first, get the candle in there, then get the egg to move and shift on the Bible, making it the holy egg. So again, so you can see here I got the egg on the Bible, I got the candle, and we will see what the candle will do. Now, since we got that uh, uh, a flicker, we'll see what that does to the egg on the, on the Bible. And 
like that. Like that. Make sure it rolls off um, in this direction here. Uh, but right there is how you do, you do the trick. It's a very um, an impressive trick that you could do with a cover egg, a candle, a good lit candle showing the light, and the Bible to go with it, making it the holy egg. And I know how that trick is done and pulled. Well, since that um, one of the uh, April, April Spring Spirits decided to um, give us some shade, we also see it's the well that candle. I guess now's the time that we get into a little bit of a prayer before we carry on. So here now, I get my mighty up praying hands. And I send my prayers to all of you out there. Amen. There, I send my prayers to all of you out there. Now, let's carry on with the rest of our tricks from here. First up, let's view the light of the candle. And that right there is how you do the magic whole holy egg bubble trick. It's a very blessed trick that I'm gonna do this way at the table. Okay, so what are we getting to next? But to our, our trick number two. And on part two, two, nine goes to Lindor's The Great Growing Lint Bunny Magic Trick. Here's what it look this. What it look like. So here needs just a little bit more light, so you, so you can see the magic growing taking place. So here, guys, little gold bunnies see here. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna first show you that I got nothing inside here. I'm gonna actually take this bunny here. Watch. Are you ready? By magic, grows into a very big size. So how did I do this one? As it is about to reveal the wind golden signature to you right now. Here's what you'll need for this golden wonder. And that is what you'll see just right over here. You will be meeting is a small Lind Lindor bunny, and you'll need is a much larger one, a medium sized one, a little bit more bigger than a small one o o o over here. Then you will be meeting is a nice silk sash to go with this. That's what you what you will be needing for this magic trick. What you'll do next is take your uh, silk sash you you see right here. Make sure it is folded neatly like this. That with your fingers like this. You're gonna take the bigger Lindor bunny, the gold one, and go into your hand just like this. That way it looks like this. That way you can easily see there's nothing in there. It's just over here 
like aiming right at you like this. All to be seen is the one small golden bunny right there. So once you've shown under here, here, there's nothing there. What you're going to do is put this in like this. Take your bunny here, and you're going to is place it in to your palm like this, and then get the bigger one like this, and have the small one behind of it like that. And by magic, it grows in size. After it's done, just take the uh, small gold bunny away and palm, and then place the gold bunny on the nice silk you see that's right here with this get this a ditch into your pocket at a at a slant and by magic the one gold lint bunny grows by easter spring magic There it gets your, your gold bunny in there. And by magic, the one small one now grows into a big size gold wind lindor bunny. And that right there is how you do the magic trick too. The magic lint growing gold bunny magic trick. A very golden one that would definitely bring gold stars into everyone's eyes with that one. To our next one, we get to, to our trip number three, and on part two, to our tenth one, which goes to the Great Pail of Eggs magic trick. This is what this Great Pail of Eggs will egg like. Here was the performance. Okay, here I come, hippity hoppy tin to the tricks table. So you can see this bucket right here. And there's nothing in the inside. And I got this. Okay, I also have is a nice silk. You see, it's a nice uh, stuff it has in there. Actually, is uh, make something to happen with this. I'll use this as a magic wand to Easter spring and of April magic. April spring magic. We'll see what that did inside. So you saw an empty pail, right? Then, what is this? But eggs that mysteriously come from an empty pail, giving it the name Pail of Eggs. So how is this one done? As is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you'll need for this one. That is what you'll see this way right here. You'll need an assortment of egg coverings. Come close and I'll show you the colors that we have on the text table. That is what you'll see here. We got um, light blue, dark blue, um, I like to even more like the kind of greenish blue. I got uh, ye ye um, little dark yellow, light yellow, pr uh, purple, pink, light pink, and green. And you see right here. 
So that is what, what you'll need is an assortment of color of um, egg coverings, you see? Just right here. Next, you will be needing is a nice um, spring. You see spring like silk, you see, see just, just see here? For it. And then you will be needing is the pail. You'll need is two pails. One you're gonna cut for a gimmick. One you're gonna keep whole that has the handle right here. You're gonna preload your eggs into this one. Like that. Put them all in there. Just like this. And you're good to go. I'm going to cover that with the, uh, so the silk like this. And you're gonna place this aside, like onto a couch, just right in the back here. I'll show you just over here where I put it. It's just over here. That's where, where it is. And then you just got this, This is what you'll be Having them to view, the empty of this. Then what you'll be needing is this for a wand. That's nice and cute too. Go over it just like this. Give it a tap. First up, what you want to do is after sewing this off, place it onto the table. Then you're gonna pick this up just like this. Into the back. And just place it in to the pail like that, and then just give it a cover just like this. And then you can just use this and wave and say the words to the magic of April's spring or Easter and go like this. Three, two, one. Boom! Send that magic right inside there. Ooh, that music just uh, went straight like that. Oh my god, that music just did it like that. Perfect timing for this one. All you gotta do is after that, just take off the, uh, the uh, silk like this. That's all there that is to it. Because the rest now that we're going to think is just an empty pail, really. There's this. What you want to do is dump it out like this. Like that. Onto a nice, good sized table. Just like this. Okay, so the know that that's empty. All you gotta do is just be, be be careful. Have your hand over like this, and be careful as you dump like that. And by magic, eggs mysteriously come out of an empty egg pail. You see, just right here. There it gets more of your Easter egg cover eggs and the pail used for egg hunting or putting Easter dye so you can put in a bunch of eggs at once and color, the, color, color them at once. <laughs> and that's how I do. Anyways, right there is how you do the magic trick to want to give it up for the magic pail of eggs. Magic trick. Makes a very amazing epic master trick that you could do that would definitely surprise everyone with that one. Coming to our next one we get to, but to our fourth one and on part two to our eleventh one. Which goes to the Eggman's Magic Top Hat. Magic trick. So this Eggman's Top Hat will top hat like. We'll use this hat for this one. Oh, hey, we have here, we have my hat here. We got nice magic wand here. That's very nice too. We got this egg, big egg. Don't know what egg this actually is. Also, you can take a look in the top hat. There's nothing in the hat. Okay, we go on. I'm gonna actually is put this egg into my hat right here. We'll see what uh, I, to do with this top hat right here. So let's take this egg right here. 
that and let's place it into the hat just like this right here okay three two one okay so the egg is in this hat watch oh i don't know rabbits could come from eggs Did you come from the egg? Yes, I did. Seriously. Oh, this is definitely amazing. I just love the magic you do. Oh, so honored and so blessed. How did you enjoy that magic one? I enjoyed it. Ciao. Okay, how in the heck did that happen? I put the egg in here, a rabbit came right out, and now the hat is completely empty. Wow. How is this one done? As it is about to reveal the secret. This one here is a very epic specialty magic trick that I've invented for this installment on our part two of our last installment, seven. Here's what you'll need for this. That's what you'll see here. A fake bar's egg. This is actually made out of um, white gift wrap. That's actually molded into the right shape of an egg. Then you'll need is this hand puppet rabbit. You see here, gonna stick a hand into it just like that, and that's what's going to allow it to move like this. It's a very, it's a very cute one. You'll need is a magic wand to go with it and a top hat. Here I use this. Actually, uh, actually, uh, this thing amazing to this top hat and it is the fan you see just right here. Okay, so here's how to perform this. What you want to do is first things first is have the um, funny hound puppet onto your lap first. Top hat on a table, closest to the edge of a table. The egg is now out just like this. First. Then you're going to sort the hat completely empty. Like that. And you're going to place it back to the center of the, t the, the, uh, the uh, table. Then what you're going to do is after you saw this empty, you're going to place the egg in like this. Make sure beforehand you have the puppet onto your hand just like this before. You have this just resting onto your lap, just like you see me doing, just right here. Then you're going to do is take that big egg and place it into the hat like this onto the side of the hat, drop it in like that. You give the convincing, convincing illusion that you put the big egg into the hat. To their view, it looks like you're putting in the big egg like this. Hat. Like that. Then what you're going to do is wave with your magic wand over. And the next thing you're going to do is get the, uh, the, pup, the, 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 the puppet bunny just at the rim of the hat at the edge of the table as that is happening. Just like this. Make sure the ears are down so you don't get to see it. Because as they wave the wand, like this, rise above, and then you can just uh, move the head, make the hand move like that. And you can do a little bit of ventriloquism like, hey, how's it going? Hope you had a nice hockey Easter and a nice April spring time. Like that. And what they can see is the rabbit that was here behind here. They'll get to see that it's actually coming from the hat at their point of view. On how they see it. Let's see this. Be very slow. 
like that. And it's good. So you can see it actually is actually in half. It's not really. But it's convincing illusion that it's actually coming from a hat. You can also pop the head, you can pop the ears up and down like this. That. All you gotta do is after you do that, put it back down. How you put it back up again, like this. Drop it off, and then show that your hat completely empty. Here it's done. The hat can go back onto your head. Very big man's top hat it is. Because there gets you a top hat in there. As well as the big egg and the bunny that comes from the egg that was inside that top hat. And now if there's a do the egg man's magic top hat magic trick. To our next one we get to to our fifth one. This one goes into a cage ma uh, magic trick. To our twelfth one on part two. Now it's the bunny cage scarf mystery magic trick. Is what this will look like. So here I got is this uh, bunny cage. You see, does it here? I'm gonna actually make uh, a bunny to appear in a cage. Okay, I'm going to actually pick up my wand here and actually I will say uh, the words uh, hippity hop. Hippity hop, the bunny goes. And where it goes? In a cage. It goes. Okay, good. Let's see. The bunny appeared in a cage. I'm going to bring this up, up close so you can see. The bunny in the cage. Okay, let's see here. We'll see if the bunny is in a cage. What? Where's the bunny? <laughs> okay, I just uh, did a spell. No bunnies inside there. Okay. Hmm. What happened there? I'm sitting and trying to uh, do it again. Okay. Hippity hoppity bop. The rabbit showed up here. Let's see, let's see if it, it, it again. No, still not there. Why is that? What happened to it? Okay. Okay, again. Hippity hoppity bop. The rabbit appears into the cage. Okay, let's see. How about I just freeze my hand in and hopefully I'll get the rabbit. What? That's not what I was wanting. I wanted a rabbit. Not a scarf. Hmm. You see? Let me see. Oh! Whoa! How is that possible? I said, make this appear all along. Now it made appear by the scarf. <laughs> wow. Seriously, I didn't see this coming. How is this one done? It is about to reveal the secrets. All you've been needing is a magic wand. You've been needing is a sponge bunny, big, and a scarf. Then go you're going to is have the scarf to hide it like this. Okay, so the trick is actually in the cage. The apartment is just right here. Right there, so there's the compartment up there. And here, there is nothing right inside here. Right? It's painted to look pretty empty. Like this. You're going to do is preload your scarf into the console part. This right here. Like this. 
put in there just like that, then you are good to go. And what you're going to do is try and get the bunny to appear in a cage. But that in itself is the mystery. It is not. A, it does not even appear. But you're going to actually make it in as it's going to appear. Okay, the rabbit's going to appear. Say, in order to keep it the hoppity bop, the bunny will come into the cage. Open the, the doors of the cage. Here, and it's just not there. No well, bunny is to be seen. You'll do that a couple times. And the last time, you're going to actually wait the one again and say the same thing. Hippity hoppity. Bop! The bunny will appear in the cage. That. Place the wand down. Then you can say, okay, I'm going to actually not open the a cage. I'll open up this. That will go in here and take out the scarf. That mysteriously comes from it. You're going to have a surprise. Like, oh, I did not want this. I want that rabbit to appear. All I gotta do is, after it's done, just uh, drop this down like this, unfold it, and by magic, the bunny and Sam appears in the cage, now appears in the scarf. You see? That's right here. It's a very epic answer trick that would definitely amaze a one with that one. And that right there, so you do the magic bunny Cage Scarf Mystery Magic Trick. To our sixth one we get to, and on part two to our thirteenth one that goes to the Great Bunny Cage Escape Magic Trick. Hey, look what this will look like. Here is the performance. Now, let's hop to it. So here I got the bunny in the cage right here. I got you know, some nice rope here, and I got this. We'll give this a covering just like that. And we'll see it actually is uh, make uh, it do this great um, escape like this. Okay, I'm gonna actually is to take this on here like that, and we'll have it to like uh, go up top. That. So it's inside the cage already. Now that I got all nice and covered, that I got this right. We'll see if we can make the rabbit do his great escape. Check out the top there. Okay, watch this very, very carefully. The, uh, it will, by magic, is do his great bunny escape. Magical bunny, and it was just where in the cage. How is this one done? As he is about to reveal the secrets, is what you'll need for this. There is a bunny fake. You'll need is a, a, a cage, small or big, preferably a big one. Well, if you don't have one, it actually is um, fake how you put the rabbit, uh, how the rabbit in a cage. You'll be needing is two different co coverings with the rope already tied on like this. Here's what I'm doing behind for this one. Very epic one. You're going to is place the bunny, your fake, the fake bunny behind here. It's just allowing you to actually move the bunny up like that. So you can have it just like this. What you can see is what you've seen in the, the performance. What you're going to is drape this over like this. Like that. Then put on the rope. The stiff rope. Just like that.
and you're good to go like that. So they're knowing that a rabbit isn't here because they see it already inside here. What you're going to is take the uh, sash there, and you're going to is just drip it over like this. And as you adjust it, you're going to is move the bunny up like this on top of it like that, and then just drop it down just like that. So what they get to see is this. Just like that. But be very but be very quick about it like this. And by magic, the bunny does its great bunny hop escape. You see? Just right here. It's a very epic magic trick that will definitely surprise and amaze and impress everyone with this one. Because after it is done, move the bunny aside and then just take this off like this. And showing that a case will off just like this. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the great bunny cage escape magic trick. Bring us down to our spot number seven and on part two to our 14th one goes to the teleporting rabbity rabbit magic trick is what this will look like okay so here i got these two nice um door like boxes here i got one two i'll show you the two of them here we got the uh rabbity rabbit which is just right here okay and here i got is this right that okay gonna actually is uh has something very magical to have happen so you see where that rabbit is right there right okay you're gonna have to is actually is um make it teleport into the other one by magic okay get ready for this okay i need a magic wand it's gonna take a magic wand that you'll see now what that has done okay oh where did the rabbit go it was in here let's check this whoa oh, it is teleported from one to the other wow so how did I do this one? I just want to reveal this epic master trick to you right now. Here's what you'll need for this. First things first, I want to tell you a little bit something about these boxes. I actually made these boxes for this installment, for our last and final installment. And for um, making this as an epic one. I handcrafted it. And paint it. I will show you one because that one is the same as the as the other one. I will show you. I will show you this one. So here I give it a, a knob to open. Use the grass in there and painted it nice and well. Okay, so how did I end up making that rabbit teleport? It's all in the backs of each box that I've made. That is trap door back here. The same is the other uh, on the other one back here. Right here. So here is a rabbity rabbit. I call it rabbity rabbit because it sounds very magical. And here's the, the a back view right here. Right here. So you're gonna start off with the um, the uh, flaps that I've made in the back here, open just like this, for quick instruction of the rabbit to go into the other one. I'll show you at a slant from the back view on what I was doing. So start the rabbit in any box of choice here. Like from here, 
like this. Like that. Okay, so make sure that you open the box up like this and so. Like this. Because from behind, is it going to go to is transferred. I'm taking everything out from over here. I'll bring the camera over here. So I'll show you what I'm doing even more. So I was taking the bunny out from here. Like that. Very quickly as I was talking. Like this. And then let's go and pop the bunny in. Just like that. That's how it gets from box to box. Make sure that you are showing the box that is in first, and then so that this is empty as well too. That way, now, you take your magic wand, wave, like that, you give them a few, you have a few taps. So this one first, empty, and then open the other one, like this, make sure that the rabbit is like, um, sitting, in the sitting position. So you open up this one, and then, so, you open up this, this one, it makes, and by magic, the rabbit, rabbit to rabbit, teleports from box one to box two. As you see, just right here. Make sure, oh, that was upside down, oh boy. <laughs> make sure it is um, with head um, up to say, just like that. Right there. And that's how you do the the teleporting rabbity rabbit magic trick. Now these boxes took me about um, 24 7 hours to actually fully make the two boxes that you see just here for the, the magic trick. Makes a very very epic magic trick that would definitely amaze, stun, Surprise, and put everyone in awe with that one. And as I do, the magic trick to it. To the last one we get to, to our eighth one. That goes to our fifteenth one. Completing the total on our last in Summit, in Summit 7. Goes to the magic crate chocolate basket egg. Magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So you can see they've got this uh, Easter basket here with the eggs in here. And I got this big chocolate egg right here. And I got this. Watch what I could do with the chocolate egg inside of this. Very carefully now, we'll, ch we'll change it into a chocolate rabbit. So the egg now turns into a chocolate rabbit. So how did I do this one? As is about to reveal the secrets, is what you'll need for this. That's what you'll see here. And, um, gold scarf. And Easter basket. Fill it with Easter grass. And have a few eggs, cover eggs. And a chocolate rabbit that will be mounted um, inside here. In the back. And you're going to place it with uh, a big chocolate egg just right here. And that will hide the chocolate r r a rabbit from view. You're going to add the basket just like this. So they see the uh, big chocolate egg and not the uh, bunny in the back. But what you'll do is by the uh, scarf you're going to is hold this and just uh, pick it up from here like this and pass it out like this hold it like this this is happening when it's turned like this this now can go on onto the couch like that what I gotta do is just move, move the uh, covering and by magic, the big, huge chocolate egg turns into a chocolate bunny in the Easter basket with the eggs. See? Just right here. 
And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the magic great chocolate basket egg magic trick. And now we just concluded this series. Now we are finished with our Easter trick videos with this year of 22. Coming up, we're going to get to our Mother's Day trick videos. We got only one in that one. So I'll see you back for our Mother's Day trick video coming soon to come. Let alone, we'll get to our tour, which is happening tomorrow. So, there, you got that to look forward to. Anyways, I'll see you for our Mother's Day trick video. Miss Philly, race, base, blessings.